And third, uh, it comes from the Greek word metanoia, and which can mean, and probably means most of the time in the New Testament, it means something like change your mind. You know, get a new attitude. Change your mind on what you want to look at, what you want to see, and what you want to believe. And to be sure that I'm changing your, your, your own mind comes carries with it some of the baggage, not baggage, some of the vestiges of the older applications. But it primarily means, swale, change your mind. You know, be a nicer person. Charge less money. <coughs> Just what you do. Give me more. <laughs> change your mind. Yeah, and so it has to do with changing your attitude, with your eyesight, with your vision, with what you with, with what you want to choose to believe and to be about who Jesus is. And so it happens, Jesus comes on the scene 2,000 years ago, and people are expecting to see something different. And he comes along and says, this is who God is. This is who the kingdom of God is. This is what it's all about. You have to change what you've been taught to believe, and you have to look at me because I'm telling the truth, and I'm the way to go, and I'm the very life. That's what Jesus says, the words that he says about the way we're supposed to be about. So Jesus comes into one's life, but to see him authentically, quite often, but not always, uh, one has to take a different point of view. And that is to say, again, uh, falling upon the New Testament uses of the word repentance, one has to uh, change one's mind. Change one's mind from what? And here's the answer that comes from Jesus himself. I'm going to leave you with this. Change your mind and come to believe that the present reality of the kingdom of God is here and now. Uh, I personally know it is here and now. This is for a variety of reasons why very few things frighten. I personally know um, that Jesus Christ uh, is with me and does not abandon me. And I personally know, historically personally know, this is not an act of belief for me. I didn't talk myself into believing this. I know this. You know, I know that Adam did a fine job. I know that historically. I know that Jesus does a fine job with me, being with me. So I don't doubt that. So I know that. So I believe, based on historical personal knowledge, because I changed my point of view when I was growing up and decided I want to mature in my relationship with Jesus, I took a different point of view that other people had told me, and they were wrong, and it turns out I was right. And that is that the kingdom of God is here right now. Changed my life forever. I don't live to go to heaven. I'm already enjoying. I don't live because I'm afraid of going to hell. I'm not going to hell. I'm not going to hell. So I'm not afraid of that. The kingdom of God is here. The time has already come. Jesus is already <coughs> present in the world. And I draw on that wealth and that relationship and that joy. The kingdom of God is here. Um, the time is now, and this is good news and happy news for all people who want to give their life <coughs> over that kind of a creator God, that kind of a Savior, Jesus Christ. And when one does that, one becomes what I call a grown-up <coughs> Christian, well, on the way to growing up. And the world becomes wonderful instead of scary. And then what happens is like what happened to uh, um, the sons of Zebedee. When they met Jesus, they put everything away and they followed him. I hope you can follow him. I really hope that. Amen.